Hi, I'm Femen Yaakov. This is an answer to a riddle posted by Dr. Kema Molina, CEO of Frenetic. Here is the link to the post at which this question was posed. And I'm going to print this link at the description section of the video that you are now watching. Now, the question was, what is wrong with the circuit in the picture? This is the picture, and the question is, what is wrong? Well, I think that there are actually two issues here. One is a small minor issue, and then there is a big issue, and I'm going to explain this in the following slides. So the minor issue is the connection here. As shown originally, there is actually a short of the secondary of this transformer. This is representing the transformer. And there is a short here, so the correct connection should be like that. That is, you are feeding the secondary to the input to this uh, bridge, diode bridge rectifier. So this is a minor drafting problem. But there is another problem, which is really a major one. And this is the question of understanding magnetic modeling. So here we have a model of a transformer with a leakage. This is the leakage magnetization. And in the conventional way, we have an ideal transformer with turns ratio of number of turns of the primary divided by the secondary. This is incorrect. So I'm going to explain first of all why is it incorrect and then obviously to give the correct answer. I'm showing here the way we usually model a coupled inductor. This is the physics textbook coupled inductor, two inductor with a coupling coefficient k, and representing it in a more, say, engineering way as a transformer. And this is discussed in this video, and this is the link to the YouTube video, which I'm also going to print in the description section. Starting with this physics-based model, we can represent it, first of all, this is the classical way, as a network that includes the leakage here of the primary, which is L1, 1 minus K, and then this is the magnetization reflected to the primary. This is an ideal transformer. This transformer has a coupling coefficient of 1. And then we have here the secondary leakage, L2, 1 minus K. So this is a very, very classical way to represent a coupled inductor. Another way, which is actually shown in this riddle, in this circuit, is by this network. There are many, many networks that you can use, and all this is discussed in this uh, video. And in this case, we have the total inductance here, magnetization inductance. Now notice that the value of this leakage, this total leakage is L1, times 1 minus k squared, this is the original k, and then the magnetization, total magnetization is L1 times k squared, and then we have an ideal transformer. Now the turn ratio of this ideal transformer, which with a k equal to 1 of the ideal transformer, this turn ratio should be the number of turns of the primary divided by the number of turns of the secondary times k, okay? So this is the turns ratio that you need for this model, and this is again explained in this video. Now, how can you tell that this ratio here, shown in the circuit that we are talking about, is incorrect? Well, one way to do it is to look at the secondary with the primary open and see if you get L2. You should get, when you look here and into the secondary, you should see here the value of L2. So the value you should see will be L1, which is the total inductance here, times N square. And now I'm looking at from the secondary, so it's the number of turns of the secondary divided by the number of turns of the primary square, and this would be L2. This is what you should get. Now, if this ratio here is NP over NS, as shown here in this circuit, then when I reflect this part, this is open circuit here, I reflect this part to the primary, I have L1K square times this turns ratio square, and this is what I'm getting. So I'm getting this value here, K square, 
this is incorrect. I should get this value. So this is incorrect, meaning that this turns ratio is incorrect. Now the correct one is NP over NS times K. This is again discussed in this video. While here, we don't have this K. Now, if I add this K here, then when I look at the secondary, what I see is this part here reflected to the secondary. So this is L1K squared, this is here. And now this ratio here is NS to over NP, one over K, this is re referred to the secondary. And indeed, I'm getting what I should get. So the problem with this circuit is that this ratio shown is incorrect. It should include the coupling coefficient. So this is the end of this very short presentation. I hope you found it of interest. Thank you for your attention.